Welcome back to our ESO exploration series. In the second episode, we're going to be exploring my father's nest, which is another delve in the stone vault. Behind the tent over here, there's going to be a law book that you need to pick up. I've already picked it up, so you can't see it on my on my screen, but that's the name of it. If you want to pause it and have a read, we led to the top of this hill, killing things on the way. Now that we're out of combat, we can safely mount up and carry on. So what we're looking for is this big old Daedric ruin. As you'll expect, there's a lot of spiders, spider kin, and uh, Daedric enemies in this uh, delve. And we've also got some goblin folk. So there's a law book that you can find at the top of this, on this platform here somewhere. I can't remember where it is because I've already picked the thing up, but I will show you where it is in the delve. Usually law books have multiple places where you can pick them up from. There's normally about two or three spots where you can find them. You get some wonderful views from the top of this hill though. This is just looking out over Ebonheart. So before I show you the quick map, to the right of us as we come in is another little eidetic memory for the Shalazor Library. So, easiest way to get through this is to turn right and head the north path. You'll grab the Sky Shard and the Law Book from that room there. And then into the boss room for taking this bottom path out, jumping off the platform and out of the delve. It's a really easy one and a really quick one. So there's going to be a short video today. There is a quest associated with this delve, but we will talk about that later on. We can't pick it up here, we have to go somewhere else, and there's a lot of kind of moving around and hopping from city to city to do stuff. So we won't cover it in this episode. Another thing to note, the law books on the shelves are totally different for every player, it's just completely random, so I can only tell you exactly what's in this delve. With you proving, is the big law book from this delve. We'll grab the Sky Shard. And head for the boss room. So yeah, um, whatever bookshelf you kind of look at, you'll get a random book. Sometimes they'll improve your skills, some of them will be eidetic memories, and some of them will be from expanded Shalador's library. I can't tell you for sure what's going to be where, but there's kind of like a rough list. If you go in a Daedric themed ruin, you'll get Daedric themed books and so on and so forth. So we've got a few randoms here. They'll probably help us with the boss who has spawned and is ready to be fought. On we go then. Should be a quick fight this one if we've got two others helping us. Down he goes. Waste of a heavy attack. Thanks, boys. And we'll take this lower path here to leave the instance. Not much else to say about this one. Uh, that's pretty much it. So we should have one proper law book, one eidetic memory, the sky shard, and the boss. No quests officially associated with this, but it, this delve does feature in a quest called the Missing Prophecy, which is the prerequisite quest for the Morrowind expansion. You can pick it up by speaking to a guy called Alessio. He normally turns up in any inn across all of the cities in the game. Alessio will tell you to go to Wayrest, and when you are at Wayrest, you will go to another inn and speak to Rhea Opacaris. They will send you on a jolly old run around to complete a quest that will end with you meeting Azura. You will then be sent to Morrowind to begin the main quest line for that so. So to finish this episode off we'll head to Davin's Watch because that's where we'll start our next one. 
That in there is where you can pick up the prerequisite for the Morrowind quest. And our next delve is right over here. We'll take the path out to the west, and it's just there. Inner Sea Armature, it's called. So that's it. I'll round this episode off by saying thank you for watching. It was a short one, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you for the next one. Thanks very much.